Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Maker 2. <laughs> I always like that the title screens in these games are playable, I think it's pretty cool. So this will probably be the last episode of Super Mario Maker that I, I do on this channel. Um, I just haven't been playing it as much recently. And uh, there's some other videos that I'd like to move on to. But it has been a fun experience um, playing some Super Mario Maker. And I hope you've enjoyed the videos. So we don't have any user submitted levels this time, but as we talked about last time, um, I'll show off some levels that I, I really do like. Let's start with 1-1 one, one Flipped on its side by Danny B. Whitey. Um, the ID is 9M3SNKWRF. And uh, this one I haven't actually finished yet because I suck. It's quite difficult. It's the classic World 1 Level 1. But flipped 90 degrees. And it is super difficult if you are trash like me. See, I have to kill myself now because the Goomba won't respawn. I really wish there was um, a checkpoint flag in this, or maybe there is and I'm just not good enough to get to it. But as you can see there's just precarious jumps, backwards jumps, and I have to, I have to die again. <laughs> Um, it's a brilliant idea, I think. It's just so incredibly hard. Um, and this level taught me that there's a secret one up there in the regular level, because I didn't actually know that. No. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so difficult, man. I played this, like, for an hour straight, one night just trying to beat it. Well, okay, great. So I, I don't think we'll be seeing me finish it, unfortunately. Um, but if you like challenges, without being like a Kaizo or a Kaizu level, I think this is a really good one. Well. And then it's very unfortunate, but it's like, that's just GG at that point. I would suck getting this one in like a 100 Mario run or whatever. Because there's very few extra one-ups. It's just so unforgiving, you know? And the hitboxes are, are pretty rough on the Goombas. I'll try like one more time, one more decent run, and then we'll move on to the next level because, like, honestly, I, I can't get much further than I have been um, so far. I'm sure at some point it would become muscle memory, but uh, is it really worth it for one? One level on Mario Maker 2. Nope. Yeah, okay. 
So that's World War One put on its side. I'm sorry that I'm not not good enough to uh, show it for you. Show off the whole thing. Um, next is an Avengers Endgame level by King Boo Bro. ID is DV8 3D8 NVG. Go on a time heist and collect all the Infinity Stones, whatever it takes. So this is uh, got a bit of music at the start, but then it also has. also has like some gameplay because a lot of the music levels the whole level is just made up of like the music section um so i'm not super good with telling uh what each part is they have the year um written for people like me who aren't very um good with interpreting creative uh, freedoms and stuff so like I'm not sure what exactly these parts represent um, the only one that I'm sure of is a bit later on I actually hate this um, power up because it just gives me mad flashbacks of being like eight and playing Super Mario Land on the Game Boy. And man, that game was weird. Alright, so now we're in 2013. And it's just weird because like, I never... Um, sort of thought about the movies... <laughs> in in that way, in like the way of years. I just thought about, you know, which movies they were, which heroes it was and stuff. So some of them I don't really get. This one I get. This part is the Red Skull, you know, and sacrificing sacrificing someone for, you know, the Soul Stone off the cliff. But, um... The rest of it, I, I didn't quite understand. I have seen the movie and everything, I just couldn't really see the uh, interpretation very well. That's probably more on me, though. This is cute. I heart you 3,000 and then an Iron Man face. It's actually really sad. And then a Captain America shield. So yeah, that's a pretty cool level. A lot of, a lot of love went into that one, obviously. And I especially appreciate that, along with the music part, um, they also have, you know, playable level. That's cool. Okay, um, Table Tennis is pretty cool. It's by Davey. 55S BS4Y1G. Um, it's basically just Table Tennis. It's pretty cute. I enjoy it. also pretty smart. Just the contraptions in this sometimes, this game are like unreal. Like who thinks of this? It's insane. I love it though, it's so clever. Short and sweet, that one, but, I mean, it does what it says. I think it's really clever. And it's actually, like, more interesting than Pong. So that's cool. Good work, Davey. Let's look at, um, I think this one's a pretty long one. Deep Forest of Patience. By Hatari. ID is 04S. 5Y7 
MKG. Inspired by Mabel Story's Forest of Patience, Dare You Seek Its Mysteries. Super expert. I don't think it's super expert. It is a little tricky. Um, but it's also just really well made as well. Some big uh, precision jumps. And I, I just really like the aesthetic as well. Oops, straight into it. Thankfully this one has a fair few checkpoints, if I remember correctly. I really like the music in it as well, I think it's pretty cool. Checkpoint flag, thank you. I don't think I'm going the right way to progress the level. Up here, must be. So, ah oh crap, <laughs> great, amazing, all we had to do was not fall on that piranha plant, we would have been good. Okay, I need more of a run up to get past that level. So I had to reset the ball, except I missed the doors, landed on a piranha plant, so that was fun. Or a mantra or whatever this is. Okay, now. Right. No, hang on. Okay, go up. So tense right now. Why not? Oh, it's gone. God, I wish there was a checkpoint before this. Thank God. Imagine getting to that and then dying. <laughs> What's the play there? Easily the hardest part <laughs> of the level. Goodness. Please be the end. I'm tired of looking bad. 
thank goodness. So yeah, I think that's a really well-made level. Um, it's probably not best for playing late at night when you're trying to film an ASMR video. Uh, but yeah, re really solid level. Okay, next is Hollow Knight White Palace by Zerk. The ID is SG3Y4S7PG. If you're unfamiliar with Hollow Knight, um, it's kind of like a Metroidvania platformer game. Um, solid game, I put like 70 hours into it, I think. And basically, there's a part toward the end of the game where you have to do a parkour challenge. Um, and it involves like bouncing on spikes and similar things like that in basically what is like a, a heaven kind of palace. Um, and this is a replica of it, and I think it's really well made. I don't know if it's as interesting, um, if you haven't played Hollow Knight, but, um, in that game, you have, like, a nail as your weapon, and you can use it to bounce on spikes by pressing down and B, which is essentially what the Sue replicates here. The shoe, I think I said Sue. Obviously, um, this is a bit easier than in Hollow Knight, because there's only so much we can do, it being not an actual game engine. But I think it's like, just the attention, again, the attention to detail is, um, huge, like, skulls and spikes and what have you, and all the decorations, I think they're all really well made. Tell me to go down, oh, I see. Here's my shoe. Hopefully get another one. Thank you, sir. Alright, here we go. And so, like, the whole of Hollow Knight is a lot of just bouncing between spikes. Using your nail. It's very tricky, but it was, it was a good fun, um, beating that in Hollow Knight as well. So yeah, pretty simple one, that one, but I think it's pretty cool. I, I just very much like um, the layout and how much effort has gone into the presentation of the level itself more than it being difficult. Good job, Zach. Okay, so we've got four more levels. This is Cap Kingdom um, from Super Mario Odyssey by Roger G28. The ID is 3VS84NJ3G. We have to explore the first kingdom of Super Mario Odyssey, get 5 moons, which are 10 coins. Wait for other KDS. I don't know what that means. But yeah, it's sort of like a exploration one where we have to get a bunch of moons. These just really make me want to play um, Super Mario Odyssey again, to be honest. I love this music though, it's so good. Oh, don't get rid of that one as well, you fool. It's like making the bridge, which I think is really clever. Oh, a little secret moon over here. Ah, oh, 
This one's just shooting bullets now for some reason. That's not cool. Okay, so this is basically where we would capture the frog, which I think is really clever. I get this interpretation. I'm not completely useless. <laughs> Hopefully we uh, have enough moons and it doesn't just drop me at the flagpole with not enough moons because that would be annoying. Nope, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> oh dear. We missed one somewhere. If I was a moon, where would I... Oh, my giant shoe. Where would I hide? Let's try that and then like run back here to despawn those. And then is it like in here? No. What about down here? Anything? No. And we went up before, didn't we? Ah, what if it's up here? Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. So yeah, I think this is a, a very, very good interpretation of Cap Kingdom. Why can't I get up here? Because I'm terrible at this game, that's why. I suppose I didn't need to do that because I've already got the key. Yeah, yeah, I'm hurrying. Doop. So there we go, up to Dinosaur Kingdom now. Or Jurassic Kingdom or whatever the second kingdom was called, I can't remember. Alright, so that was Cap Kingdom. Um, very solid level, that one. Next is Ice Cave Athletics by Dolan JWZ. Uh, code is S23L7RXHF. Just some fun platforming. Enjoy. Three star difficulty. I think I, I remember enjoying this one too. I like the sort of simpler levels um, in uh, in sort of aesthetic and, and design than sort of like confetti cannons and fireworks and ding dong going off every couple of seconds you know oh my reaction time is so off I don't remember downloading so many sort of tricky-ish levels. I suppose that's what just happens when you haven't played it in a while and um, you get out of practice with your Mario skills. For a checkpoint. Yeah. Uh, yep, definitely thank God for that checkpoint. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> I don't know why I'm making all these dumb mistakes. I can't even get to um simple platforms. I 
this one's like basically also train you for some of those harder levels where you have to um oh what where you have to constantly like throw and release blocks like that which is fine because um Obviously not that skilled at it, but I think this is sort of more my pace. Why doesn't that... Why doesn't it hit that power block when I throw it? Maybe I just yeet it straight at the things instead. Instead of hitting the ceiling with it. Just to restart. It's a really clever level. Bam, bam, bum, bum, bum. Yeah, solid level. I'm just terrible. <laughs> Very good stuff. And the music is like nice enough so that even if you are dying a lot, it doesn't drive you insane. Okay, let's go. Peculiar Paintings by I Hey Typos. Code is N68F052YG. An evil painting is in the back of the gallery. Find it and shut it down. This one's really cool. He's, he does some re really clever things with like making it look like you're jumping into paintings and that kind of thing. It's really clever. Alright, heading into the gallery. Upstairs. Oh, I'm stuck. All right, so here's our first painting. And now we're inside the painting. I just think that kind of thing is is really clever. makes it look like the whole thing is <laughs> jumping into paintings. It's so clever. Thoroughly enjoy it. Then it moves us on to the next one. A desert painting. Over the pyramids, under the cactus, whoops, atop the Great Pyramid. Uh, I'm not going to risk going for that coin because I'll probably die. Into like the tall woods, I guess, yeah, jungle kind of level. Up the inside of the tree. Everything's just so well thought out in this level. I bet they had a blast making it as well. You know, when you're just making something that's like super creative and um, it's just super satisfying to make because you have so many good ideas for it. Alright, 
that. What's next? Ooh, an icy painting. Across the frozen tundra. Over the top of the igloos. Mind your head that you don't get hit by a falling icicle. Alright, boss painting. <laughs> Made up of all the other paintings. Actually, I don't really remember how to fight this thing. Oh, like that. <laughs> yeah, I just think that's a really solid level. Like a little art gallery with diving into paintings. I think that's so cool. And we'll move on to my favourite. Sorry, not my favourite. My course. Italiano Jones, The Golden Idol. So what we'll do is, um, we'll play it to start off with. It's based on the opening sequence from Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. So we're going into the forest temple, deep within the woods, and in the movie, the first um, obstacle they come across are spiders. So we've got some spiders crawling up and down their webs here. Then the next obstacle they come across is um, this sort of light beam trap, where if they're walking in the light, they get spiked. So this is kind of meant to represent that we're walking under the shadows, so we don't get spiked. I probably could have added some light rays to the coins. Um, but I think it's pretty cool. I don't mind how it, how it turned out. Then of course we have the big gap that we have to use our whip to jump across. And this is a bit of creative licensing. Just to add some more depth to the cave. Then here we have the diamond tile traps. Where if you stand on the diamond tiles, you'll get shot with darts. So we don't want to stand on those. And it looks pretty hectic, but... You can pretty much just run through that anyway. Alright, and then we have the most recognisable part of Indiana Jones. We have the Golden Idol. We have to take this uh, and escape with it to our airplane. What's that? The sound of a rolling boulder coming towards us. We have to escape. we go, we managed to capture our golden idol treasure and escape with our lives, almost. <laughs> I just want to show you this secret room back here to the left, but if I don't take the, uh, the golden idol with me, uh, then it despawns. But we have to wait for the uh, boulder to open up the secret pathway there. We have to not activate the, the golden idol as well. We're crawling through some vines to get some one-ups. And we're going to ignore the boulder coming to life and running through back there. I don't know how to fix that. It's probably some sort of gate I can make, but yeah, he's not supposed to be here. Silly boulder. So now we just have to escape the crumbling temple with our sacred idol. And then in the movie, on the way out with the idol, Indy is attacked by arrow throwing, an arrow throwing tribe. Yeah, I don't know why I just let myself get trapped there, that was dumb. Just gonna try and get past these uh, spear throwing dudes. All right. Oh no, we're surrounded. We gotta get out of here. Gotta swing from our vine onto our biplane, which we might 
lose now. We might despawn our gosh darn golden idol here. And we did. Awesome. <laughs> Can't even beat my own level anymore. Goodness me. There is a speedy way of getting out of here, but I can't seem to remember it. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. So anyway, this is our biplane and we need the P block because it gets rid of these so we can finish the level. If we don't have the P-block, we can take this little door down. And this fella opens up the boulder room for us. So we can get this. And I've just noticed how broken this level is. Sometimes it breaks and sometimes it doesn't. It's very annoying. Finally made it. So there we go. Italiana Jones and the Golden uh, Idol, or whatever I called it. That's uh, a lot rustier than I thought. But let's have a look at how this boulder part works. There are new parts to play with. That's pretty cool. What new parts do we have? Okay, got a spike, got a pokey. Was Kamek in it? I feel like he wasn't in it. But it would have told me. So I had a P block. Cool. Anyway, uh, we want to have a look at how the, the boulder works. So we speed all the way along over here. Alright. So, when we go under here, this thwomp gets set off, which hits this block, which blocks us in to the tunnel. It also turns these blocks off. And what happens is, so under this bob there's an on-off switch block. And when the thwomp hits the switch, the bomb blows up, which destroys this block, which for some reason, the only way to get a spinning shell upside down is to um, destroy a block that it's on using a bomb like this. Now, the way that I've organized these trampolines and such makes it so that when that blows up and falls upside down, it bounces off the springs down to this hole, then through all this stuff, and that's all this stuff's here so you can see it coming and then chases you through the temple so yeah pretty straightforward but um it's pretty cool that's probably like the most complex little contraption i ever had to make in mario maker but with that i think that will end our mario maker series um i'm just not playing this game as much as i used to which is fine there are definitely some other things that I would like to play. But I would like to thank you for viewing my Mario Maker series. I had a lot more fun with Mario Maker 2 than 1. And uh, thanks to everyone who submitted their levels and to everyone who made the amazing levels that I really enjoyed playing. Enough to download them onto my actual Switch. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next series.